A very big welcome to everyone. I have a layout today for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft as I am on her design team for the month of September. This will be my last layout for September, so it's layout number four. And we are using the papers from Courtier Creations from a collection called A Gentleman's Emporium. So I've picked my background paper and the paper, it's paper 03A from the Gentleman's Emporium. This whole layout was all came to being all because of this gorgeous die set. It's from Creative Expressions. It's called Porthole and it's part of my core products. So as soon as I saw this die set, I knew I was going to do a layout about my husband as he loves the ocean. He loves boating, fishing, anything to do with the sea. To cut my porthole, I didn't really have any suitable papers, so I made my own. I got a piece of brown cardstock, I added some gesso, and then I went to town playing with some of the Distress Oxide sprays. I used the colours Puma Stone, Victorian Velvet, and Cracked Pistachio. And what I did was I just used, I sprayed one layer, and then I dried it with the heat gun, sprayed another layer, dried it with the heat gun, and a lot of the drying I did off screen and I just kept doing this until I got a colour and tone that I was really happy with. So there you are, off, off screen I've cut my little porthole and I'm just adding some extra pumice stone to the edges with a little sponging tool. Love the look of that. But I wanted a bit more of a rustic feel so I got my favourite distress oxide in the colour, oh, Vintage photo, nearly forgot there, and I added a bit, a few more little highlights. Then I decided that you couldn't really see the indentations of the embossing from the die cut. So what I did was I once again with the vintage photo, I put the, I just aligned the paper back into the die set, and I just outlined the whole thing so that I could get the, all those lovely little grooves that I didn't quite get with my cuddle bug. So now uh, it's hard to see on screen here, but I've got a piece of acetate that I'm just circling the, the circle with. I'm going to cut that out because I've decided that I was going to make a shaker card at this point. No, not a shaker card, but a shaker pocket, I guess. So I have glued my acetate to my little porthole and then it's time to add some dimension and I used, used some mounted foam tape. And the most important thing here is to make sure that in the inner circle there are no gaps so that that way your sequins do not sneak out. My next step was that I had to do the background of my little shaker pocket so what I did was I got a scrap piece of paper and this is also a leftover piece from one of my previous layouts. It is using the Gentleman's Emporium scrap papers and I am going to cut out another circle as this is basically going to be the, the back of my shaker pocket. Once that was all done, it was time to add some sequences and I just grabbed whatever was in my stash. I added some blue sequins, some green sequins, and there's also some goldy, bronzy sequins. And yeah, just add the, the, back, the backing there, stick it all down, and my little shake pocket is complete. I absolutely loved how that looked, and then I had to move on to my photo. I wanted my photo to stand out from the layout, but I really had no idea how I was going to do it. So I went back to my one of my favourite techniques, and that is I got some brown cardstock and I did a small mat around the whole photo using my Perfect Layers ruler. I have no idea what else I'm going to do with this layout, so I go back to my little shaker pocket and I decided that I was going to add a little embellishment to it. So in my stash of chipboard, I had this gorgeous ship's wheel, which you see me now colouring in, and that's going to get stuck into the middle. I'm going to stick it down to the middle of my little shaker pocket, and I just love how that completes the whole look. Then it's time to work on my photo once again. As you can see, I have no, no idea what I'm doing with this layout. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. I really should plan things a little bit better. But I decided I had all these scrap pieces of paper and I wanted to use them and I'm on this kick of getting better at layering with my paper. So I'm going to do some layering with this photo and I just got this strip of paper and just ripped it. Then I distressed it, adding some of that vintage photo distress oxide and putting it on opposite 
ends of the of the photos one up and one down like how that looks get this piece of scrap paper again yes cut it out and I think how am I going to use it because it's in little odd shapes what I will do is I like that so I'm going to distress the sides once more just to keep keep the layout a little bit cohesive once I have my little little edges all distressed I will add the vintage photo once again and then I also decide that it just needs a bit more of a rustic feel it's just a little bit too beigey for my liking so back to that vintage photo add it all in I love how that adds that little bit of uh, pop of color and it's still looking masculine loving how it all is I just bring everything back together make sure that I'm liking my layers and back to another uh, scrap piece of paper from this collection and once again doing exactly the same thing distressing the distressing the edges adding the vintage photo and then off screen I do believe well I glued everything down off screen because this video is going to be a bit longer than what I like and then I decided oh I don't really like my background it's a little bit bland so I got out an old background stamp that I had and I'm using an archival ink I believe the color is sepia and I'm just going to do some random stamping through the page love the way that's looking I bring everything back in just to see how it's all going and just something is not quite right and I decide that the layout needs more blue because of the ocean so another one of my core products was this stencil it's from Casercraft it's one of their mini stencils and it's called rough grip so I went to town with some stenciling and I'm using two shades of Nouveau embellishment mousse uh, first I started off with the dark one and then I get the the more tealy color and I'm just going to use my finger to spread it around and what this did it sort of added a like a two-tone dimension to the layer and I absolutely loved it and here is where I I made a mistake well not a mistake but I made a mess where some of the blue sort of went off the page and I couldn't get it off but then I sort of thought I liked that shading so for the rest of the layout I land up just doing some of my own little shading using my fingers and yeah I just took advantage I didn't want to throw the paper away and start all over again so you just make it work I'm adding some splatters with some brown brown ink I don't even remember what what it is and the layout's nearly complete I take my distressing tool and I decide I'm going to distress all four sides of my layout just for some added masculinity and also it's my it's more of my husband my husband's not a clean cut guy he you know he's your typical Aussie bloke he you know he's that's just who he is a little bit more on the rough side and add in my what's that the the vintage photo and I just add shaded all around especially on the left hand corner there love the look and these are some wood veneers that I had in my stash and oh, I think I showed it earlier I think they're, they're scrap they're from scrap mats and I think they're called gears and something and now it's time for my title so this title is going to be a pretty simple one I started off by putting down son because he was a son then he became a husband and then he became a dad so that's it for my layout thank you all so much I hope you enjoyed it and till next time stay safe everybody